Hi, I'm Po, I'm with Crock-Pot, and I'm about to show you how to make a chunky red lentil kale and tomato soup. Very, very yum. To start, I'm going to cut up all my aromatics. And then three cloves of garlic. I'm going to chop those up as well. You can crush them if you want. And this is one of those recipes where you can put anything you love in it. The base part being the stock, the tomato, and your aromatics. Beautiful. Okay, we're ready to cook. Take my lid off and start on saute. I'm gonna pour olive oil in, then my red onion and garlic, and we'll just wait for the sizzle. The thing I love about the express crock is that if you have anything that's sitting at the bottom of the veggie drawer that's looking a little bit sad, you just throw it all in here using this base recipe, put the lid on, and it will turn it into something delicious. Next I've got Carrot, you don't even have to chop this up very well. Don't be precious about it because cooking in this pot is all about comfort for you as the cook and also the results. Some mustard powder, chili, and then I'm going to use some kale here. These are quite young, so I'm going to use the stalks as well. In that goes. And then I'm going to bung everything else in. Crushed tomatoes, and then in goes the stock. This is vegetable stock because I'm making this vegan. And then the lentils. Usually you'd have to wait till the soup was boiling to put those in, but we can bung that all in now. Just give that a little bit of a stir. Make sure that the steam vent is closed. Stop the saute process, pop it on rice grains. Soup's done, I'm going to release the steam. Oh, that smells so yummy. And I'm going to just add lemon juice quite a bit of it because the sharpness is just so nice with the lentils and then also the zest and we're ready to serve. I'm going to taste it for seasoning. Mm, perfection. And then a little sprinkle of parsley, lots, I love parsley. And that's my vegan red lentil kale and tomato soup.